obviously south uh southeast england yeah so i'm um, going to go over into france i'll talk you through yeah, the route. yeah so france uh down to uh friedrichshaven which if you zoom in on the map you'll see it's very close to geneva but it's in germany uh just yeah a little north a little north uh to the right a little bit that's it kind of a little bit further up um, so yeah, in, into into Friedrichshafen, into Germany, and then and then I go up to Leipzig because DHL very kindly helped me. So I've got to fly into one of their big bases, and we're going to get some really cool pictures of the Another gyro parcel delivery. <laughs> yeah, of the gyro next to like a seven four seven, all branded out in DHL. So I'm kind of looking forward to that. And then after that, I'm going into Poland. All right, okay. And then Poland, I'm going from Poland up to Lithuania. Yeah. And then Lithuania, I'm flying across Latvia into Estonia. There it is, top left yeah. corner. And then from Estonia, I enter into Russia, very close to St. Petersburg, actually. Then after that, all the way down to Moscow. Yeah. And then literally the next stop is is America, Alaska. So oh, it's so right the way from across. Moscow. It's like the Trans-Siberian or, Railway, almost yeah. there. Yeah. The whole way you're skirting via Kazakhstan. All the way Order. across the whole yeah and then when you keep Jesus going it's, then you have to go it's mate there's five different time zones it's <laughs> mad and it's not to be wow. underestimated uh, and then you start going north up into siberia so you, you keep going to the right to, yeah um and you'll see uh, that's that's bering where Strait. i yeah that's the bering straits and that's where i cross into alaska and then from alaska i come down the coast all the way down Canada, America to San Diego. Oh, and right. then from San Diego down I, there. Yeah, that's oh, yeah. right. And then from San Diego I go all the way across to the east coast of America and then back up into Canada, then up to Greenland. And then you drop it like you're hopping across. I actually Canada, can't go across it. I have to come down and round to the south. Greenland is quite high. It can go it's like eleven, twelve thousand feet in the middle. So it's a bit high for me and my little gyro to fly over. <laughs> I know it sounds absolutely <laughs> crazy, doesn't it? To think, and it's that. an open cockpit aircraft as well, so it's like riding a motorbike in the sky. It's not enclosed, so yeah. You're gonna be freezing. It will be quite chilly, yeah, yeah. 